Hi, this is Johnny. What we're going to do now is majority of people have already hacked this and they want to know if they could upgrade to a new firmware and then uh, upgrade a new firmware. But in order to do that, we have to uninstall the hack. So this video is about how to unhack it and then rehack it plus upgrade the firmware. Okay. So we're going to uh, power this off. Leaving the original SD card in here, the one that we got for 32 gigs. So we're gonna unplug the power. The original SD card that we used to uh, when we did the update for the new one that I got, the unboxing, we're gonna use this one. And then I'm gonna I burn the image and I'll upgrade upload to the telegram so you could get this uh, uh restore key. I needed to to restore it back okay they call it restore key but it's actually just an SD card so we're going to go ahead and plug uh, we're going to run the program first before we plug anything in last time I did it the opposite and it didn't work right away so we're going to go ahead and zoom into the screen and we're going to run now Make sure when you download the classic and this uh, this this program, make sure you put it into the same folder where the batch file is. Okay, I did not include that because the video was already long. So if I include that that the other stuff in here it might make the video longer. So I did not include the one previously about the hack. So that classic driver and this uh, Z8 diagnostic need to be in this. Uh, folder okay that you unzip and then you're gonna run those two programs first all right so once that's done uh, you're going we're gonna uninstall this so we're going to run the program called restore okay we're gonna run that restore program so we're going to double click on the batch file we are going to uh plug this in real quick at the same time we're gonna we're gonna press enter and then plug this in the same <laughs> real fast okay so let's see if we can capture all this we're gonna plug the data cable which is the a we're gonna plug it to port two okay not this one but this one okay and then we're gonna plug this in here all right so i'm gonna press enter plug it in plug that in Okay, make sure everything is in. It's still booting up. Okay, something is happening. All right, so we got this screen now. One screen instead of multiple screen while ago, you saw. All right, so we're gonna press enter. All right, so it seems like it's working. So it looks like it's doing something. Now, this one is black. It was have the name, now it's black, okay? So that's good. So once we restore it, then then we're gonna try to upgrade the firmware again, see if it worked. Because last time when we tried to do it, that have the hack in it, the, the video I did, the unboxing, it won't let me do the firmware update. So, and I just delete that firmware update software <laughs> from the SD card. All right, so I need to go get another SD card and put the, it's just a regular SD card with FAT32 in it. So let me get a, well, that thing is working on it. I'm gonna go ahead and this is a, the way I open this is just bend it down and then it's easier to, than it is to, uh, to try to cut it open. Now, if you get one that is already pre-cut, pre the plastic is not there, that means it's probably going to be a bad one. Somebody return it, or but you have to have the seal, okay? If you buy one from Amazon that doesn't have seal, there's something wrong with the SD card. Okay, so it looked like it finished. So it looked like it finished. So now, what we're going to do is just power this off. Okay, power. Okay, it's rebooting by cell. That's great. And... The SD card is still in there, but we are not getting the 
Okay, we are back to the... So that's how you uninstall the hack, okay? So we're gonna pop this SD card out. Oh, yeah, we do need to pop it out because we are going to, uh, we're gonna upgrade it to a new firmware, okay? All right, so we could press E again and check out the firmware real quick. Go to Nico Note, and it still say it is the older version. 1.0 point wow it went pretty far back it went back to the very very like very first time before we even update to a 1.1 no it is 1.1 1 .1, sorry the original when you come when you buy it is 1.0 okay this is 1.1 1 .1. okay so it is a, it's the second version all right, so we're gonna go ahead and let me open this up real quick. I don't have the nail to open it. So let me open that real quick. All right, we're gonna put the 64 gig. Now the problem with 64 is not FAT32, okay? Just let you know. So that means you have to use a software called GUI to format this to FAT32, or otherwise it will not work, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in. And we're gonna copy the file into the SD card. Now, if you haven't seen the unboxing software, unboxing video, watch that because we're gonna skip all this and then go directly to this, okay? Okay, we got the firmware already previous download. We're just gonna copy this firmware file and put it into the E drive. E drive is already formatted as FAT32. So we're gonna go ahead and paste this. Now, if you use a 32 gig, you don't have to worry about anything, but just let you see the property that it is FAT32 right there, as you can see, okay? So we are good. We're going to go ahead and pop this out, and then we are just going to put it in. I'm just going to reject it. All right, so we are back to this machine, and we already know what framework it is, so we are going to pump. This new one, which is 64 gig. Oh, I pulled that so hard. I don't know that break though. Okay, let's put, put that in real quick. We're going to hold the button. You're going to hold the button. Unplug this first. Okay, we only need this, this one. We're going to leave it turned on. Leave it turned on. We're just going to unplug this. And see we could zoom this out so we're holding this two button and we're gonna plug it in okay and if we do this correctly uh, the firmware update should kick in if we don't do it correctly there you go it's updating so while ago when we were trying to do that we couldn't do it because it have the hack so you need to remove it first and then do this okay so let's pop this back to normal screen. Check in for the firmware. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So what we did is unhack it, upgrade the firmware, and now you could go back to my other video, which I, which I post, show you how to upgrade to a firmware. And that's it. That's all, that's all you need to do. Once it finished, we're gonna check up, check the version, see what version we have. And if you was to put in the hacks SD card in here, it will not work because it's not hack. So you have to rehack it, put this in, and then it will work. Okay. So it's two of two, hundred percent successful. Successful rebooting. All right. So we're gonna let it reboot. So I will provide you with the SD card link so that you could update. So press E. I'm gonna go to press A. 1.22-2. All right, successfully updated and unhack the, the system. Now you're ready to rehack it. And so please watch the other video. 
Thank you for watching. Later.